Hi, you're watching Floyd Steinberg's YouTube channel. The idea for today's video is by my viewer Julian Davidson. And he asked if it's possible to build a box only for playing piano and strings and organs for worship music purposes using only a Raspberry Pi and using it in such a way that you can choose the instrument and maybe add reverb and chorus. And such a box would also make a great addition to many table synth setups as seen in many YouTube videos. There is no desktop synth piano module on the market right now. So that's what we'll look at today and I'll make this a small series of videos and we'll start with creating the piano using an open source software called Asphiz. Here we go! First, let's take a look at the hardware needed and this time the list is fairly short. You need a Raspberry Pi or compatible device. Depicted here is the Raspberry Pi to zero because I wanted to know if it can handle this. And you also need an audio card. Link to this one is in this video's description, but you can use anything you like. Also, you need a fast SD card. This one was the fastest I could find in my home, but other models might work too. And depending on what you have, you might also want to use a USB hub and network adapter like this one. But if you use other Raspberry Pi models, you won't need this. Now assemble the hardware as intended and then take the SD card and insert it into your PC. And then start the Raspberry Pi system downloader and installer and then choose the 64-bit light version of Debian for Raspberry Pi. If you click on the cogwheel in the bottom right of the installer, you can set up your network beforehand and also activate Secure Shell, which might come in handy later in the installation process. As we downloaded the light version of Debian for Raspberry Pi, we can't use a graphical user interface to set things up, so we need to log in by Secure Shell. And the first thing we're going to do is to install the audio card. And for the model I use, that's fairly simple, it's only one line of code. Just execute that and reboot and ta-da, it works. So playing a piano sound on any kind of electronic hardware means using samples. And in this case of the piano, you also want a multi-layered sample so you can play softly or really hard. And playing samples on Linux means using fluid synth or Linux sampler. And there was an alternative I found on Google. This is a fairly new project uh, called Asphiz. And um, the knack here is you can stream samples directly from hard disk or SD card. And that could mean you could use uh, fairly large sample libraries on tiny hardware, in theory. So let's install this. It's really simple. Uh, just go to the page and follow the instructions. You don't need to compile anything. I just add a library to your Debian package repository and then just download this and then continue with installing supplementary services. Next, we'll install the Jack Daemon, which is one of many Linux audio subsystems, but the one I found to have the lowest latency, which is the time between you pressing a key and hearing a sound. And while installing that using the command line shown on screen, You'll be prompted a question if you want to run this in real time or not, and you have to answer that with no, otherwise you'll risk unlocking your system when playing particular complex piano passages. And you don't want that. Next we need to install a program named ATJ MIDI D, which transfers the MIDI data of your playing, captured by the ALSA sound subsystem, to the Jack D sound subsystem which then converts it to audio. You can make this up. And after that is done, it's time to download a sound font, which is kind of a sample library for our piano sound. And in the open source space, the Salamander Piano by Alexander Holmes still reigns supreme. It's a fairly large sound font, and um, it's the best sounding of the bunch. You will find it on the project's homepage in the right column. Now it's time to test this. After downloading and unzipping the sound font, change to its directory, and then you can start the Asphiz app with the command line shown on screen. And after that, connect to the Raspberry Pi with another secure shell window, and then you need to start the A to J MIDI daemon with the minus E parameter. 
This program will list all the MIDI devices you have running and you need to copy the name of the MIDI capture device and then open another secure shell terminal and start the Jack Connect process using that name of your MIDI device and connect to AsFizz input and then press new line and now you should be able to play uh, the piano and that's what we're trying now with uh, Raspberry Pi Zero 2. Oh, by the way, if you like content like this, and if you want this series to continue, then please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you want to support what I'm doing here financially, you can use the super thanks button, become a channel member, or join my Patreon. Links are in this video's description. Thank you. Yeah, that didn't go too well. <laughs> um, I tried this again with external hard drives and USB sticks. The result was always the same. I suppose uh, the Raspberry Pi Zero just doesn't have enough memory to um, actually stream the sound you're currently playing. And um, yeah, so let's try this again with the Raspberry Pi 3. Yeah, that went much better, as the Raspberry Pi 3 has more memory and thus can more easily cache the sounds you're playing, leading to a better performance, despite this sound still reminding me of a late 90s synthesizer workstation. Okay, next week uh, we'll take a look at how to automate this process of booting up the sound system, and until then, uh, here's a short performance I recorded late at night. <laughs>